Okay, the first thing you want to do is make sure the breaker is off to the pump. I'm going to get the wires off the old pump. Okay, this is pretty easy. I'm just going to unscrew these wires. Okay, I got the wires out. I'm going to go to open up the back of the Superflow VS to show you how to do the wiring. It has one fourth nuts that hold back on. You can also use a screwdriver. And the really unique thing and the great thing about the Pentair Superflow VS is that if you have a 120 volt connection to your pool, it will also work. The pump will automatically convert the voltage from 110 or 220, depending on how you have your pump hooked up. Okay, the green ground wire will go right here. You can put either the white or the red on either of these load one or load two. Okay, the pump doesn't come with the elbow fitting. I have extras in my truck. You can use the one off your old pump if you have one. Okay, I'll get the green ground wire on. Okay, I'm going to get the red wire. So that's the wiring of the Superflow pump, whether you have 110 or 220 volts. Doesn't matter which load you put each wire on. The only one you have to make sure you put is the green ground wire on the green. Okay, we're gonna replace the cover. Make sure you put all four screws back. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the bonding wire. Let me get the screw out. And the bonding wire should be attached to something metal. Usually it's attached to the heater. And there's no need to remove the time clock. All you have to do is take the on-off trippers off and leave it on the on position. So once you have the on-off trippers off the time clock, go ahead and put it in the on position. And we'll leave it like this, and the pump will run off as internal timer. Okay, now you can turn the breaker back on and see if everything lights up. Okay, the pump has power. You can see that the clock needs to be set. It's flashing 12. And that's the wiring of the Pentair Superflow VS pump. It's very simple.